Hey everyone. So, um, it's been very quiet on my channel. I know this. I am working on a very long term project. to a halt because of the following situation. Now the bike has been repaired, it's all fine, I've ridden about 50 60 miles or not again and it seems to be fine i enjoy it i'm glad to be back on this thing funnily enough before this happened literally the saturday before this happened i put it on the dyno <laughs> i just wanted to know what it does and it came with some inter interesting results which I will show as well. Um, they will probably be here somewhere in the screen. I just kind of wanted to do a quick update um, and there is something to come. Because with the dyno, we found out no matter how many miles I can do on a single tank, it still runs really rich. So um, I've ordered a new air filter. So the next install video will be how to install or replace the air filter in the Ninja 125 which means I have to remove the tank I've not seen anyone do that on a Ninja 125 yet but I have seen it on the Ninja 250 SL which is basically the same model um, so I'll be doing that show you how I do it show the difference between the um, filters because I ordered a K&N filter so that should last forever. There's just not a small update as well. I am going to do my full license in September and I rode a C650 for 30 minutes to have an assessment and they were quite happy with me so I should be able to get my full license in four days time in September. If anyone's interested in that let me know uh, and it will just show you the process of how I get my license and it will just be four days really four days three days full full riding and then one day where I do my test so yeah let me know if you're interested in that that's just going to be happening so I hope to get like a big bike in 2022 or something like that I'm not quite sure that doesn't mean I will get rid of Hades uh, I will keep her I, I'm not quite sure what I'll do with her but we'll figure something out and that's it, that's the update from me.